right, and we're back again um, after an extremely productive episode. So much progress. I know. We have successfully changed the color of Link's sprite. Yeah, basically we spent an entire episode doing dress up. <laughs> but did need that defense. We do. I, I do wonder whether the shield or the the armor was the better choice with those robes. It's but, hard to say. Yeah. But at the, least the armor can be eaten. So. Yes, that is a good point. Because you did walk in that door with a shield. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't last long. You can only imagine how frustrating it must have been to watch that and just see it happen and go, mm. Good God, why did you do that? <laughs> My goodness, why are these shield sprites so ambiguous? Okay. At least you can't completely lose your uh, your shield like in, in other games. Right. Yeah, so you guys can't do anything to hurt me anymore besides just hurt me. Yeah, so there, there, there's the hurting. They still take a lot of hits. Yeah. I know killing them doesn't do me any good. I've already killed them before. It seems harder to qualify for the Master Sword as well. Magical Sword, I should say. Yes, there is no Master Sword in this game. Ooh, no matter what the internet tells you. So I know you don't want to hear it, but you should really consider killing all these guys. Yeah, I know. I was planning on doing it this time. Yeah. Knowing what's oh, ahead of me, I'd rather just... Uh... They're not even that tough. No, they're not. If they're kind of like the uh, those gel guys. So once I get the Magical Sword, yeah, they'll... Um... They'll stop. Stop with their crap. They'll just die in one hit and I actually get items from that way. Would these bubbles just leave me the fuck alone? Are they changing color every no, time? No, they're just regular bubbles. Mm. So That's what they do is they just disable my sword for a few seconds. Ah, uh, seconds. Okay. Alright, so I got a map. Ah, it's level Z. Level or, Z. Or level or 2. maybe a 2. <laughs> We've been doing it wrong the whole time. I, okay, I'll get my I'll get my stupid candle out, and I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna have a chance in this room. Yeah, you, you don't need it. That room is just there to suck up your health. And it did a fine job at it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't have my sword. <laughs> All right, there's no thing in here to help me get my sword back. I don't have the ladder yet, so I can't get that key. Nope. Ah, there I go. I'm dead. Mm. First death in this. Oh, no, second death in this palace. Okay. Now, here's a real biter, is I don't have my full life. Fortunately, there's a fairy fountain not too far from here. That's helpful. I'm just going to head right over here and get healed up. Okay, you're not going to believe this. I'm outside the palace. I don't have a shield or a sword. <laughs> it's still gone? It's still freaking gone. <laughs> Why? Why, Nintendo? Those red bubbles are absurdly broken. Mm -hmm. They don't show up in the normal quest either, do they? No, no, not at all. That's yeah. why they're such a shocker for this one. Right. So I just have to weave my way around all the enemies. So I can't actually do anything about them. And I have to get back to the room that has the blue bubbles before I can even do anything in this dungeon. <laughs> uh, delightful. So, now that you don't have a sword, here's a fun Zelda question. What sub-weapon do you typically default to in Zelda games? Well, for a lot of enemies, you can use <clears throat> the boomerang just yes. at least to at least stall them. Like, I can't yeah, do that's... anything... All right, no stupid shield. I can't block the beams. I get my way. Shield. Yeah, for for me, I spend most of the games with uh, with the boomerang equipped. It really depends on the game, because I mean, there's a lot of times when you'll have a good alternate weapon. Yeah. Like um, in Link to the Past, I would use the hookshot a lot more than I would the boomerang because it had the same function more or less, and it did more damage. Yeah, and it, and it had some extra uses. That's true, but yeah, I mean, it, it, it grabbed things and everything, so it was just as good as having the boomerang equipped. All right, but there we go. Okay, right. you got the blue. 
And I did it with minimal damage myself. Yeah, only one heart lost so far. All right. Murder these guys, show them the justice that they were denied last time I was through here. That's right, Link is not afraid of no grooves. Wow, what a surprise. <laughs> the dungeon boss is at the very end. Oh boy, this guy. All right. Oh, old man, handler. This is where it would have been nice to have my shield, but. Yeah, well, that I made was it. pretty good bombing. Yeah. I don't know where to put my blue balls. <laughs> I mean, bombs. Link's, Link's always swinging his blue balls around. <laughs> And then when they get uh, in the right position, they explode. <laughs> he just calls them the bomb. <laughs> they are, after all, the Goron's special fruit. <laughs> Quite so. Okay, so... How, how long have the Gorons been extinct in this timeline? I've always heard it, but a good theory but forth is that those boulders that are coming crashing down on Death Mountain are supposed to be the Gorons. Oh, the boulders and not the... Uh... Oh, in this game, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I like it. So Link to the Past had the stone guys who some people consider retroactively to be Gorons. Yeah. I'm not sure I buy it. Well, at the same time... Wait, I don't have my key yet. What the hell am I supposed to do? All right, this is where I guess I start. Yeah, I'm pushing against walls and bombing. And... Well, that sucks. Well, there was a key before, but I don't have a ladder for it yet. And there's also a locked door near the beginning that I also can't get through. Yeah, stingy with the keys. Okay, so... You were looking at a map, so you knew that the, where the map and compass were, right? Yeah. Yeah, what the hell do they expect from you? To go buy another key? Yeah, I, I think that's what they expect. Okay, there is... Have you been to this room yet? Yes. I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not looking at the same room as you are. Oh, uh, boy. So that room... That's a nope. Just trying to see if you can get to the room where I see, I see a key on the map. And the answer is no. So yeah, they expect you to bring a key in with you. Or go to Dungeon 6. That might be a better option, to be honest. It is traditional in Zelda games to hit Dungeon 6 before Dungeon 5. Alright, let's do that. Screw this dungeon. <laughs> yeah, Z. We don't, need, we don't need Z dungeon. So, where are we gonna... Wait a second, I gotta kill these guys to get out of here. Well, someone's gotta die if you get out of here. Yeah, that's gonna be me! <laughs> All right, so where do we find Dungeon 6? It's in the graveyard. Okay, well, that's straightforward enough. I'll be able to leave here and hit the fairy garden on the way there. And, yeah. Yet another episode full of progress. This is the first episode where we're just, like, straight up giving up on a dungeon because we don't want to spend money. <laughs> well, we've always regretted spending money. It's true. To be fair, who doesn't regret spending money? Well, there's also the option. Um, I think if we go towards the 8th dungeon, we could actually go in there and find the master key. Hmm. That's an interesting idea. And that can uh, make the rest of this quest a lot more straightforward. Looks like you need the ladder to get the 8th dungeon. <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> okay, well... That'll be the sixth dungeon then. Yep. Wow, and there's like the only co coherent hint in this game is the Lost Woods solution. Yeah, yeah, I mean, well, that and the up, up the mountain, those are the only two that really ever made mm. complete sense, so you didn't have to like scratch your head trying to figure it out. Right, right. This one, the guy actually says go northwest, southwest to the Forest of Maze. Yeah. So and, it's still broken, but... And you gotta know what the maze is, because what's going on? Yeah. yeah All yeah. right. So... Eh. How much do I want to tell you? We got six of them, and there's like so many of these to push, so... 
Now, one thing you can do with this graveyard is if you're really good at keeping track of the enemies, you can do this, where uh, you wake up a bunch of them, and then yep. you kill the actual guy. Those are, is there only one that really counts? Yeah, once you kill him, the rest all die too. So which one is the the guy? The first guy, the one that's on the screen oh, when you first, first start. One. I see. It doesn't always net you more than what you lose, but it's one thing you can do. Which I'm not actually doing this to find it, I'm just doing it to kill this guy. Yeah, see, look, there's a bunch of coins there. Wow. Pretty decent way of making money. I did not know that trick. Yeah, I remember doing this as a kid. It depends on how ambitious you want to be, because if you do it too many times, then uh, you can get yourself pretty screwed pretty fast. There we go. Look at that. All right, so you're going to tell me? I was just saying, I will tell you how next time. All right, so uh, apparently you're going to hold out on me, so uh, we'll just find out next time, won't we? Yes, we will. All right, see you guys next time. Good night. Good night.